finally got some of the first parts for the TT, which we're still trying to name, but whatever. All right, so we got new injectors. Um, these are just stock twin turbo injectors. I think they're 440C. Um, this is the kit we bought for Betty that we ended up not using. So this should be all the hardware we need to make the new injectors fit in the pintleless injector without having to machine the lower intake manifold. The only thing we have to do is we have to machine or well grind down a little piece on the upper intake manifold so that one of the injectors fits. So, um, and then we got new coil pack uh, clips and we got new fuel injector clips. Um, we have a set of balance tube gaskets, which we'll need in the future um, that I had from Betty. We got EGR block off plates and we got PCV block off. So we're in good shape. We're going to go ahead and uh, start taking the old fuel injectors out of the old rail and um, we're going to see how these fit in. So as we take the old injectors out, which as you can see, I just beat them out with a hammer because we're not going to reuse them. Um, so they don't look too bad, really, I guess, for these are probably the original um, injectors. But look at this. So this is, this is one of the issues is that the fuel is so close to the actuator of this fuel injector that causes corrosion. You can see that there's corrosion on these edges here, which might have come out of the top, but these pins are completely corroded like crazy. Every single one of them is just so badly corroded. And you can see they've definitely seen better days. You can see there, some of them are uh, like heat soaked down here. I don't know what exactly you'd call it, but you can see all the brown around here. And not all of them are like that, but you know, four or five of them are like that, and that's probably obviously from starving of fuel or running lean or something of the sorts, but they've uh, definitely seen better days. So glad we're upgrading them. Um, you can see obviously the connectors are all toast. I am keeping these little metal clips because I need some of those for Betty. But um, yeah, they all came out uh, not too bad. Only one screw stripped, which I just got out with device grips. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get some of the new injectors in and see how that works out.
there we go. Got them all in. Um, as you can see, there's still a little gap here. I couldn't really get the injectors to sit all the way down like I believe they're supposed to. Um, I'm not sure why, honestly, because, I mean, I didn't film that part, but I literally had them in the vise with a socket on the end and one of the old caps on top of the injector. And, you know, I mean, the vise obviously applies a lot of pressure, and I just couldn't get them to pop in like that. Um, you know, normally when you do the injectors with these newer style ones, they straight pop in. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. I couldn't get them to pop in, but everything is making good seal. I mean, they don't come back out easy. Like, they're definitely popped into, you know, like the the O-ring, the top O-ring is definitely popped into some kind of groove because they don't come out easily. You have to put a, quite a bit of force on them to get them to come back out. So, um, I believe they're all sealed up good. Um they look nice i mean obviously you're not going to be able to see them but there's the injectors um we can't wrap any of this up yet because i'm going to get new uh rail seals for the bottom and i didn't get those yet so we're not going to be able to put these back in but you know that's for that